psychology, Islam, neurogenic, neurogenic um, error of the brain. Yes, that's what what I want. Yes. Around something like um, one out hundred people being psychopaths. The number in uh, businesses being actually quite higher in general and by general the sales from uh, businesses around something like one at least one out of five being uh, psychopaths there are uh, around something like 42 or out of um, 30 signs of psychopathy they're being actually can be classified as, um, the, as actually true psychopaths and being therefore uh, even more harmful in the society as the ones that live in prison. One psychopath is in contrary which most people believe not by definition of violence, but they are being actually pretty charming, manipulated. Taking a can quite easily hold their calm in situations where others lose it. They are being more willing to take risks than most people. They have one extreme amount of um, self importance. They have one kind of um, Superior around them, and there are also no old ways to uh, somebody something that they want to get and how to get it. The perfect place of a psychopath in one industry is for the psychopath to get the highest place in the business, for example, a CEO or a manager. The place where I can manipulate the easy as much as people, most as people would be popular. This kind of people also a lot of time uh, cannot hold so much time in one relationship and can lose interest pretty fast. And they can also oh, a lot of the time get one relationship very easy because they have themselves most of the time um, actually not a lot of emotions but that don't mean that they don't can see the emotions of others they've been perfect actors and players with humans they can easily tune out your weaknesses and can use it against you and play you like a puppet master like in Don Corleone or of, of the Mafia actually is a pretty good example of a classic thank you parent puppet master if you have to watch the movie, we begin. He seems to be different, and most people confuse him uh, with uh, somebody that is one um, classic or uh, example of a um, person that uh, have to get um, a lot of um, trouble and don't uh, actually be a victim of one scenario, but in reality. From the beginning of the movie, from the, to the end of the movie, I always <coughs> seem to know what has been happening. And he play actually also a lot of the actor, actress, uh, the uh, people in the movie actually, the woman in the movie, to get them in a high position and dump them when they no need to. One also classical example well, what most psychopaths do is that they're not do the violence themselves and also so you can see in uh, the movie he uh, only use violence when being absolutely necessary and he don't like to make his hands dirty which um, actually make one a good psychopath actually not a good sociopath because sociopaths don't 
I, don't, I give actually not a, more, a lot about get his hands dirty. Do you have to also move and because I don't have time and patience to explain the whole movie. Well, maybe I want to make a video if you want to put it in the video. Also, classic psychopaths. Be not necessarily dangerous. One example uh, for society where they're living. One example, um, according to many um, psych psychological experts, um, for example, um, Winston Churchill, the um, of, of England in the time of the World War Two, was also a psych uh, also psychopathic. He also he looks like uh, also a little bit like a gangster boss with his uh, <laughs> with his hat. His hoodie, um, his uh, long jacket, and his cigar. <laughs> it's uh, because he was also um, charming in a sense, also ruthless, and also not so much. I was not so very uh, one with the rules, just the way he'd been, and he want to sometimes change a little bit to um, go better out the situation. For example, um, that if uh, he was there in that office, was most likely the Allied forces don't go in Nazi Germany to free the Jews. One of my observations, or my memory of that person in history, history books, Hmm. But they are being, in general, not so nice people. But, uh, that you not like so much somebody that um, call you out for uh, no reason in your opinions and I will use um, inviolable logic and also sometimes hold some parts of the truth and not be completely honest and play you like a puppet. I think most people won't like to actually to um, be in encounter with somebody that is one uh, true puppet master psychopath. You have uh, many, if actually not one kind of psychopath, you have the, you have, um, the puppet master and you have the um, bully, this um, psychopath that have not all the traits of psychopathy, but some and can and have a kind of Conscious, we're not all to, uh, it's, and therefore can get angry if they're being performed or to put not to see so that something becomes to do. Therefore, I use intimidation and not manipulation to get what I want. But in general, psychopathy is actually a part of uh, a lot of uh, characteristics. This one spectrum, and not anybody have. Um, well, I have um, 40 out of 40. Some uh, major ma general majority of uh, humans have around something like 4 to uh, 10 max of these uh, symptoms. Uh, people that uh, have uh, actually psychopathy, there <laughs> mean a lot of more. Around something like uh, 1 out of 100 is psychopath. That means that there are been around something like 70. Uh, 70 Seven, seventy-five, yeah, says seventy-five um, billion, a uh, hundred billion, um, seventy-five, hundred billion uh, psychopaths around the world, with the amount of uh, humans that are being in this moment. In general estimate, I consider them to be in the meat-eating population more than in the vegan population because oh, uh, picking choosing to which to be kind is also psychopathic. Uh, choosing to be kind to cats and dogs but being cruel and horrible to uh, pigs and cows and other animals. I have never harmed anybody in the whole life and cost less 
suffering and um, destruction to the environment is also in my eyes a little bit psychopathic and any rational person that is not psychotic will see this anybody that not uh, is one uh, human supremacist or human exclusionist or have one um, anthropomorphism anthropomorphism mindset with one animal rights bio fascism mindset see that that can be absolute one possibility if you have questions on psychopathy and if you want to know the difference between narcissism, psychopathy, and sociopathy, maybe we'll want to make a video, put it in the description below. I want it's funny to make them explain you the difference between all oh, this disorder because I have a very much interest for psychopathy because I find it funny to use it against colonists. <laughs> When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away, and the truth become visible. 